Hello art family and today I am jumping on the Encanto craze and I am so excited to share with you this very special Encanto door art lesson using the yes. elements of art. Okay. I'm Our goal in this lesson are that students and artists will be able to use as many elements of art as possible to design their own door inspired by the awesome movie Encanto. So I do realize there may be some people out there who haven't seen Encanto yet. I don't know why you haven't, but I highly recommend that you do. It is all about an amazing magical family called the Madrigals. They are extraordinary and they live in the mountains of Colombia. The magic in Encanto has blessed every child in the special family with a unique gift. Everyone except for poor Mirabelle. You have no gift! Or so she thinks. So, where is Colombia located? It is actually in South America and it's one of the third most populous countries in Latin America. The house that the Madrigals live in is of course magical. Each bedroom door depicts its inhabitants using their respective gift carved into the wood and they emit a golden glow that illuminates their image. The bedroom doors also have the inhabitants first initial carved on the doorknob. Due to the magical nature of the casita, the bedrooms are bigger on the inside than they are on the outside, and the nature of each bedroom corresponds to and acts as an extension of the inhabitant's gift. In this lesson, I want you to use your imagination, pretend like you're a member of the magical, magical family, and think about what your gift would be. What are your hobbies? If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Or what makes you most happy? Once you have decided on your gift, the next step is to start with a digital sketch. Now this is an optional step, but I will tell you that I love my digital sketch better than the one that I actually did on paper. I made my digital sketch using sketchbook and of course my superpower had to be art. So if I could draw anything and make it come to life, that would be my power. I started with an app that actually turns photos into Disney characters and I will put a link to that below. I downloaded that picture and then I added it into my sketchbook app. Now you go through and add layers. So you, when you're actually drawing your portrait, you wanna add the layer that you're gonna either trace or draw on top of the first layer, which should be the blank picture of the Encanto door. You can find those blank pictures anywhere, but I did put a link to one that you can use below. Now, the only way that I figured that you could create a glowing effect on paper like you do in the app is by doing a scratch art technique. So if you've ever done the scratch art paper, it's basically where you're scratching away the design and you're using a light space underneath the black paint. To make my scratch art door, I printed off a blank white door on cardstock so it would be nice and thick. And then I used oil pastels to color the inside of the door using yellow and lots of layers of oil pastels. Once I did that, I covered the oil pastels with two coats of black acrylic paint mixed with Dawn dish soap. This allowed me to have layers to scratch through. Hi. And it could be that maybe my scratch art skills are just not the best or that my digital drawing was just so much better, but like I said, I really enjoyed and loved the outcome of my digital drawing and it was fun trying the scratch art technique on paper. So I hope you enjoy designing your own Encanto door and I can't wait to see what your superpower is.